All right, what's the chip of the day? The chip of the day is an LF398. An LF398 is a sample and hold amplifier. So what is a sample and hold? Um, so if you have some signal that's moving up and down and you want to just grab it, like grab it and let me know what that voltage is right where I grabbed it, you can store it on a capacitor. So you can um, take the waveform and take a chunk of it put it on a capacitor and then it'll stay on that capacitor and then you can do things with it at your leisure, okay? And so um, this is basically the circuit that you would use. It's just an input and output and then there's a capacitor that holds it, okay? There's a better, um, here's a better, di yeah, here's a better diagram. So in this diagram, you can see that there's a, 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 an input and an output, and then there's a break. There's, a, there's an analog switch between the two, and that analog switch comes here through a 150 ohm resistor, and then you can put a capacitor out here to hold that voltage. So whenever that switch closes, it feeds through real time but you open that switch and it's just gonna stay wherever that capacitor is, all right? And you can run this thing with logic level. So you can have plus and minus 12 on the part and run it with uh, CMOS or TTL uh, as the logic input to turn that, turn that switch on and off. So it really is uh, a op amp, an op amp, a analog switch and a gate all in one package. And uh, so let's see it working. Okay, I have a little, a little circuit over here. This is my LF398. Uh, this is my whole capacitor right here. It's a 100 nanofarad capacitor. And I've got a signal going into it. All right, so here's the signal going into it and coming out of it, all right? And so this is the output of the device. So I have a, I have a, uh, I have a ramp going up and down, right? Now, if I tell it to sample, it will, grab wherever it was and just hold that. You can see it's just a DC voltage. I'll grab it another place. Oh, that time it was high. Uh, that time it was low. That time it was low. That time it was high. That time it was lower. Yeah, see, it's just a random event where I'm catching this thing. But it samples and holds it, and it just, it just keeps it there. Um, so how good is it? How long can it keep it there? Well, it has to do with the leakage of the circuit and your layout and your capacitor value and everything. Um, so there are formulas in the data sheet to tell you that, but let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and put this into a voltmeter. And we'll take a look at the voltmeter up here. And then I will sample something. And it happened to be 1.91. And you can see there's a little bit of leakage there, right? So you can improve that by the way you lay out your PC board. There's, there's instructions in the uh, data sheet on how to put guard rings around it so you don't have leakage. Obviously a, a little proto breadboard thing here is just awful for, for leakage, but you can see it's, um, let's grab another place. There we go, that was minus 0.3. And that's holding pretty good. Let's see here, plus 0.2. So you can see it's, you know, it's probably like some kind of percentage. So if you have a big voltage, it, it'll look like it's losing it a little bit more than a lower voltage. So if I can get it, find a, find a big voltage here. There we go, minus two volts. So you can see it's pretty stable. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. So anyway, um, why would you use this thing? <laughs> what would you do with it? Uh, there are applications on every, every data sheet. So people use this for 12-bit data acquisition systems. So a lot of times you'll want to measure voltage, but 12 bits, it takes some time to read that. And so you'll need to store that voltage while you're reading it for 12-bit data acquisition. A ramp generator, uh, you can use that that um, capacitor to do the ramp. Uh, analog switches, it, it is a switch, right? We can see it's, you can turn it on and off. Um, 
just you can create staircase generators and sample in different circuits. So you, you could sample two things and then compare the two. And uh, anyway, uh, they are fairly rare in circuitry, I would say. Um, you got to have a pretty heavy duty analog design to need one of these. Um, but uh, yeah, companies make them and they're, they're, they work good.